Well, good morning, guys. It's a Sunday morning. It's actually fairly late, but uh, it's late for a reason. We're heading around the reef from Aipara. It's Aipara. We've just come out off Shipwreck Bay, and uh, we're currently driving around the reef here. So we've got the trailer and the kayak on the back. And uh, we're cheating a little bit. Instead of putting in it at uh, Shipwreck Bay, we're gonna drive around the reef here for a bit and put in up the coast a bit. The reason we're doing this is, what we're gonna try and achieve today is get out to the Aipara Bank. So that's specifically Aipara's south bank. Um, and they're about 13 kilometers off Tauro Point, which means it's 20, about 20 kilometers off Shipwreck Bay. So if we can chew a few kilometers driving around the reef here, uh, just makes the job a little bit easier. We're a little bit late start, or a little bit later start than normal, because the forecast for this afternoon is supposed to be very, very good. Um, the wind's supposed to die right away there's a little breeze there now, but it's really supposed to die off. And um, I really want to time my trip uh, back so that I can hit that that um, period of very low wind. Um, and also because the tides are right to come back around the reef. Uh, high tides at roughly three o'clock, so I don't really want to be coming around the reef sort of couple of hours um, either side of high tide so uh, when I come around the reef it should be around five or six o'clock and uh, the tide should have receded plenty so yeah that's the plan for today a little bit of a long intro but um, yeah let's get on with it all right we've come around as far as we can go well we could could go further around but we sort of risk getting the trailer and the truck stuck so we're going to play it safe and go from here. We're a good probably, probably three or four k's. Probably, well, it'll be at least four, I'd say, up the coast from uh, shipwreck. So we've saved ourselves a bit. So we're going to get set up now and um, get on the water. Okay, so I'm hooked up to a kingy here. This is sort of the same area I caught them a couple of weeks ago, but um, this one actually feels like he's pretty decent. I wasn't really filming because I only I was just mucking around here, just waiting. I want to. This wind's up a little bit more than forecast, and I wanted to uh, sort of assess things before I headed straight out. So I've been mucking around here just a little bit, and um, yeah, just almost got to the same area where they were a couple of weeks ago, and um, pretty much the same story as a couple of weeks ago. A little bit of sign and uh, drop the jig on oh, it. Oh, that's not a bad kingy. That's not a bad kingy. Oh, oh. Haven't had one like that for a little while. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm back the drag off. Grab the jig. Wallerman. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> Look at that. Nice fat kingy, man. He's fat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, man. That's a nice king. <laughs> that's a beauty king. <laughs> Nice fag, big tail on him. Nice big fat boy. I guess, um, oh, I'll, I'd say 15 kilo or so. Um, I don't think we're gonna keep him. I think we'll just put him back, but um, <laughs> I gotta be happy with that. <laughs> oh, he's well hooked. One hook in here, one hook in here. There's no way he was going anywhere. But um, we're gonna get these hooks out of them and we'll get them back in the water. 
far too early of the day to keep a fish and um, he's too good a quality fish to keep really that's a that's a prime fish yep probably around 15 kilos and uh, we'll put him back oh and away he goes happily ass all right we're starting to get it well out there now we're into a bit of blue water it's still pretty cold though 19.3 degrees I kind of get the feeling there's uh, better water around me, but I'm right in the middle of a little cold patch. We've got a shark just over here. Uh, you probably won't see the fin, but it's just poking its fin out here and there. Um, and yeah, we've got good conditions. So um, we're going to keep grinding these pedals. All right, update time. Um, it's uh, 11.40. And we've been peddling. I'm not quite sure when I did the last little clip, but that's probably oh an hour and a bit ago. So um, we've been covering good ground. We're about we're a bit off a K off where we need to be. That uh, WP08 or the trip uh, 008 is our first mark out on the Opara banks. So yeah. It's been pretty tough, but um, the old legs are starting to feel it. But uh, check out these conditions. I couldn't really have picked a better day for it. It was just a bit windy around the front of Toro Point. As soon as we got out, we've just got this. And um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty damn good. Oh. Gosh damn it, I've hooked up to a decent fish and I'm around the... Oh no, where's he gone? We've got to go some way. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> damn, I've got this other rod down. And this is just a... This is actually a decent fish. I didn't think it was, but it actually is. Yes, we're clear. Okay, now we can start getting some line back on this puppy. I think this is quite a decent fish. So we're out on the banks and look at that sign. It's pretty wicked. Look at that. Hey, hey. He had a bit of go in him. That's a decent fat fish. Got him. Okay, back the drag off. Slide him into my lap. Yeah, maybe 12 kilo. There's our Fallings jig. Jigging Master Fallings, 320 gram. Quite like these Falling jigs. Got quite a big wide profile um, and uh, tend to do the trick, but there we are. Got a nice little kingy, and we'll put them back. Yes. Yes, that goes towards making the long pedal out here worth it. Up again. And uh, this will be a little rat. Caught a couple of other little rats, haven't really bothered filming. Ugh. Get them out, back away quickly so I can get the jig back in the water quickly. And with a bit of luck we'll get another shot at those fish before they bugger off. Yeah, they're following the jig down so it's a good sign. Gotta do. Hits. Yep, there we are. Hook, hooked up. Oh, this is a better one, I think. Oh no, maybe not. Here we are. Oh, oh. Let's 
slightly bigger, just slightly, and uh, we'll get him in the water and hopefully be able to get the jig back in the water as well and have another shot at them. Hits. I've got hit, hit, hit. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is a better one. Oh. 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 No, he's close to the reef. Oh, oh, that was a better one. I had to put a lot on him because he was real close to the reef. Oh, and he smoked me. He smoked okay. me. We're all tied up with another jig. This is a Jigging Master UFO jig this time. And um, I'm going to see what happens with this. I've just seen the fin of a big shark, so things could get interesting. Oh, yep, and we're on. Oh, that's a big one. This is a big one. Well, maybe it's not. I think it is though. I think it just hasn't really realised what's happening yet. Took one little run. Look, that's a slow beat of the tail. Oh gosh. I'd say this is going to be a good one. Oh. 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 Hope it doesn't get sharked on the way up. Can't see it yet. It's behind me. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's not even that big. He just fat little, fat little kingfish, and just used a heck of a lot of energy in his first run, I suppose. Thought he was going to be quite big. He's still a good-sized fish. Oh, still a nice-sized fish. Uh, ooh, from that first run I thought he was going to be a biggie never mind okay you can go back you can go back <laughs> oh. okay I just dropped a, a little uh, uh, micro jig a little jigging master fallings and I've got what I think is going to be a snapper here could be a rat kingy I think it's going to be a snapper. So there you are. Nice little snapper on the Jigging Master Fallings jig. All right, it's uh, just after three o'clock, pretty much slack tide, and. Um, We've got a two, at least two and a half hour pedal back home, or back to where the truck's parked. So we've uh, just left the banks, uh, set a couple of tuna lures, and uh, we'll spend the next two and a half hours grinding out these pedals. All right, we're back in. It's, um, I'm not too sure because I'll turn my sounder off, but I'd say it's about quarter to six. Um, and yeah, we're just about back in. We're just launched from around there, so we're back in. But we've got a lovely little rainbow here. So obviously there's a heat shower going on over a para. So it's, uh, hopefully it'll be gone by the time we're in there. We're all back, we're loaded up. 
Um, and we're about to get out of here back around the reef. Uh, so I only kept the snapper for today, but good fun session on kingfish. I was really hoping to get into some tuna, but um, even though the water was nice and blue and that, all I seemed to see was plenty of sharks. So we might go out east side if we can in the next uh, week or so and um, see what's out there because apparently some real good blue water out there. Anyway, if I end up out there, I'll take you along so you'll see that. Cheers, see ya.